Hello Gemini and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. There's a person here who realizes that this is coming to an end. You know, the universe isn't going to wait for this person while they um, remain stuck in something else. Okay, they are having an enlightenment. They realize who you are to them, but I feel like this person remains stuck. I feel like they were putting something off, something that they were supposed to be doing or getting getting out of something, okay? Um, and now I feel like they've run out of time. Um, with the Wheel of Fortune out here, I'm seeing this as a big heavy vault door that's slamming shut, okay? The old cycle is over, and the new cycle is beginning and this person they're getting themselves stuck in the old like in another karmic loop okay um anyway just take it how it resonates with you right it's a collective readings they won't be for all of you and that's okay just don't try to force it and thank you so much everyone for all of your support um thank you for all of the likes you guys all of my subscribers a huge thank you thank you for joining the soul tribe i love this soul tribe um thank you everybody for being so kind to me out here all the time you know you're so good to me um so anyway yeah what they want to say to you is i hurt myself by letting you go okay that was the first card out in this reading I fell in love the moment I saw you. I hide my my true desires for you. I fear you will never forgive me. Okay, so this person, um, they were in love with you right from the get-go. I don't know what made them leave you behind. Maybe they were already in um, a long-term or committed relationship with someone else. Maybe you were um, like a big temptation for this person, you know, um, that they couldn't resist. And I, I feel like they never told you exactly how they felt about you. They still haven't told another person maybe how they felt about you or how they feel about you. Um, I feel like this person did something really impulsive, like they left you behind and chose to stay in something else and and they've been in some kind of a comfort zone you know they hang out in this hangman energy where they're avoiding the situation they're procrastinating right um they they really don't want to feel anything even though they do uh they're in possibly some denial here as well but now you know what time's up on this person time is up and this is coming to an end because they, they have been hiding how they feel. They haven't been honest with you or with whoever they chose over you, okay? I feel like they were already with somebody else when they met you, perhaps. And um, so, yeah, because of the no communication, no answers, no clarity, no action, no nothing, this is coming to an end, okay? Um, and now they're feeling like they really missed out on a true blessing here because they did. They, they definitely chose someone else over you. There's that third party right there. Um, and they're crying over spilled milk. This person could actually be doing some crying right now because they're realizing um, they really hurt themselves by letting you go. You know? But I feel like if they weren't in, in denial for this long, and look at, look at what they let go. They let go of the person they may see as wifey energy now. You know, the one for them. You're very grounded, very stable. Um, I, I feel like this person didn't, they didn't see your worth and your value because you're a high value person here. Um, and yeah, they see you as being the one for them. This person's feeling very emotional right now um they're looking into your social media they're uh try, like studying you they're not just watching you okay they're studying everything everything that you're saying maybe even looking for some kind of little clue that you might want them back i don't know they're looking to see if you're with anybody else 
They want to know what you're working on, what your home looks like, what you're eating tonight. I mean, you know, it's um, it's everything that they can find out about you. And this person, um, they're still, you know, they'll they'll hide how they feel from everyone. This is literally hiding how they feel. Okay, the the King of Cups, very emotional energy. They're a big ball of mush on the inside for you, okay? But they're not showing anybody. They're keeping it all hidden. That's what this King of Cups does, you know? But meanwhile, they're also watching you, watching everything, pulling on your energy. And spirit, I feel like spirit and the universe, they've had enough of this. It's, it's time. Yeah, look, I feel like, and the divine is saying it's time. You know, they, they're, uh, I feel like, honestly, I feel like maybe somebody new is about to approach you. Look at this. You know, or they're about to talk to you. Who? Uh, this is who they've been with, is this Queen of Swords energy, okay? Possibly a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could be dealing with um, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, but this Queen of Swords that they're with, they know this person is like going crazy over you. They're falling apart over you. They're very emotional over you. They're not spending any, they're not paying any attention to this Queen of Swords. Not the way they watch you online. Okay, and this Queen of Swords wants the truth. Spirit is like, look, look buddy, it's time. Time's up. You need to give this Queen of Swords the truth and tell her that you're in love with somebody else. And you need to make a legitimate offer um, to the person that you actually want. Because the person that you want is leaving the scene. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You know, it's time for them to stand up and do the right thing. I feel like someone new is actually entering into your life. You're about to meet some new people, a new soulmate connection. Somebody may already want to get to know you, right? Yes, and here's the thing. I feel like this person, they just, they hold on to how they feel. They don't want to tell the truth. They don't want to open up. They, they, want, to, they want to draw this out as long as they can, but it's already played out. Like, this Queen of Swords, whoever they chose over you, she knows that this person is in love with you. You may not know who this is, but she knows who you are. And she knows that this person is suffering. And she knows they're falling apart emotionally over you, leaving them behind, meeting new people. She knows that when they're on their computer, they're watching what you're doing. When they're not around her, they're thinking about you. When they are around her, they're thinking about you. Okay, she wants the truth. You know, she wants to hear it from, from their lips that they're in love with someone else. Yeah, see, she knows that this person wants the Empress. I feel like that's you. Okay, very loving, very grounded and stable, uh, very intuitive as well, very abundant, independent, strong. You know, who wouldn't want an empress? And, you, and your, this person from your past, they know they're about to miss this opportunity with you because who wouldn't want an empress? You've got new people that are, attra you're attracting new people. And attention to yourself like a like a magnet, like a beautiful magnet, okay? Yeah, look, this masculine is in so much regret. You know, because what the person that they chose over you, collective, um, she there's no love left in that situation. All the cups are knocked over. See that? And the ones that are still standing is this connection here. You, the love that you had for them and the love that they have for you, those two cups, they turn their back on the soulmate connection for this Queen of Swords. And now this Queen of Swords, man, she's very harsh. She's very cutting with her words. 
okay? This is somebody who could possibly even be fairly like a bully, okay? But he, she feels betrayed. She just wants the truth. You know, um, I feel like your person is praying for divine intervention and spirits telling them, we left this door of opportunity open for you this whole time and now you want intervention? It's too late. I feel like spirit is saying, the universe is saying that door is shut now. Now you may be stuck suffering this karma, right? Possibly having to confront this. You know, this person procrastinated. They avoided the situation. And they just, I mean, I feel like time's up on this person. Spirit is sending you in somebody new. Six of Wands energy. I feel like this new person coming in, um, they could be in the public eye. They could be having a victory in their life, right? This is somebody who's learned some lessons. They've been put through a battle just like you have. And they're coming out smelling like roses, having a victory, having their life together, feeling good, looking good, healthy, taking good care of themselves. Um, they could be very well liked and celebrated in their community, encouraged to come, come towards you even, okay? This is a person who knows what they want. And this is somebody riding into your life, right? And spirits ushering new things in for you. Because it's time. It's time for a new cycle to start. New experiences, new adventures, um, blessings, new people, new soulmate connections, right? Yeah, this is new love. This is new love coming into your life. So I feel like this, um, this masculine, they're, they're feeling very stuck now with the person they chose over you. And she's given them a hard time pretty much every day because she knows she just wants the truth. She's badgering them for the truth. You know, she wants to hear it from them. I'm in love with someone else. I'm in love with the empress. You know, she already knows. Yeah, she just wants the truth. I feel like she's about to get the truth. I feel like this masculine is going to be communicating with her, telling her the truth. Ace of Swords energy. And he's about to end it with that person because he just can't stand to be there anymore. He, this, this is a masculine who is not happy where they are. Okay? I feel like they're both miserable. Um, I'm hearing the song, um, we can't go on together with suspicious minds, right? That's Elvis Presley. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, they're, they're both, uh, this, the karmic or whoever this queen of swords is, she's very suspicious of this person, right? She won't leave it alone. And this masculine is very suspicious that you're getting new love, and they're absolutely correct about that. I feel like, um, yeah, they can't go on together this way. They're both miserable. So that's a cycle that's coming to an end anyway. Spirit and the universe was giving this person an opportunity every day was an opportunity to come in and make things right with you or speak their truth, okay? Every day, possibly for years, a couple years at least. And the universe is just not waiting for this person anymore. Neither are you. I feel like you're moving on. You've got your back turned to this karmic situation and you're taking your cup and you're walking clean off your spread with it because you know your worth and you know you deserve better than to be breadcrumbed, left alone, and, uh, and getting no communication, right? You deserve more than that out of life. And Spirit's sending you the right person for you, okay? Yeah, here they come. Boom. Knight of Cups. You're about to be asked out on a date. 
you're about to meet somebody new and it's going to turn into a commitment. I'm telling you because that's what you deserve as the Queen of Pentacles, your wifey energy, grounded, stable, dedicated, loyal, committed to whatever you're putting your energy into and you deserve a commitment in return. You deserve all of that energy um, reciprocated. Okay, so this new person coming in, I'm, t I'm telling you, it could lead to a marriage, a commitment, building generational wealth. So your cycle, this last cycle, well, let's just say this new cycle, right? Um, this new cycle that's starting, it's starting with, uh, in your energy with the Ten of Pentacles. And it's starting in your person's energy with the Ten of Wands. Because they refuse to do what Spirit was trying to guide them to do. You know, Spirit had their best intentions. You had good intentions for this person. But they were in denial and they refused to budge. They wanted to procrastinate as long as possible. And they did. To the point where now that door is shut. And spirit, the higher font, is sending you the right person for you. Who's going to give you what you deserve in a relationship. Okay? And I feel like this masculine energy that's in love with you, they know that. They're extremely, they're feeling that burden, man. Because you're like everything. Look at this. You're everything to them. They want to get back together. They're somehow able to see. Maybe they're having visions or nightmares or dreams or something. Um, or just getting intuitive messages. That this next person, I feel like you're going to be married to. You've got marriage in your future. Marriage, commitment, generational wealth, abundance, success, health. Good health, blessings, and they've got nothing but burdens because they sat on this and avoided the situation for too long. Tower moment. There it is. There's that tower. So, yeah, um, this is like, you know what it feels like is like... Um, dreams and hopes that they, they that they just lost or a sudden realization that um they're not going to get this opportunity again you know a sudden realization that because they were um avoiding the situation they lost the one that they really truly are in love with you know but what were you supposed to do you're not going to look at a good heart is not going to wait forever. All right? And now they're with somebody that they really don't want who's badgering them for the truth. I, I, I see that situation coming to an end anyway. I really do. How is this person feeling? You could be a Virgo. Um, you could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. Yeah, look. They're just watching you slip right through their fingers. They had you at one point. They could have had ultimate wish fulfillment with you, but they let you slip away. Okay, and now you're moving on. This is taking a leap of faith, excited for new things, having, a, having built a solid foundation for yourself, right? A success, abundance. You could be a boss business owner. Your money's looking good. Your business is looking good. You're looking good, and, I, and you're feeling good. This is you kind of freeing yourself from from the burdens and the stress of this connection and taking a leap of faith into a new cycle, a new phase in your life. And you're being led to do it here with the higher font. 
and this person from your past, they're having to take a look at this. Some of you um, uh, could be even moving away to a new location. Okay, very confident. You've got a lot of confidence right now. You're high vibing. You're excited, enthusiastic, making bold, courageous moves for yourself. Some of you could be moving away um, like a distance from this person. They're burdened by that too. You know, yeah, look, more forward movement. I feel like um, you're moving on, collective, and this person, they're watching you leave. You know, they know they broke your trust. They may even want to reach out to you, but I feel like, honestly, I feel like this door is shut. And they still have to, yeah, look, they broke your trust. They've been sad ever since they betrayed you. Okay? You know why? Because this person, um, I feel like they fell in love the moment they saw you. They just refused to admit it to anybody. So, yeah. They're very sad. But um, I see you moving forward. You're getting blessed here. You're, um, you're already seeing the blessings roll in for yourself, okay? Um, and the divine is ushering in a new soulmate connection for you. So there's someone new already kind of in your energy. They're in the vicinity, okay? And um, yeah, so and that's going to lead to a commitment, and generational wealth. Your future looks so beautiful right now. Theirs looks like sadness and disappointment. Okay.